It's pretty chilly this morning. The dog and I are up here in New Norfolk and the river, the Derwent, has burst its banks. There's a flood. Day after day of bad weather saw thousands of Tasmanians lose their electricity. Many had it put back on by Tas Network employees, only to lose power again to even more bad weather. The River Derwent begins at Lake St Clair in the Central Highlands and it empties into Storm Bay where it touches the capital Hobart. It collects more volume as it runs and along the way it passes New Norfolk. As the Bureau of Meteorology predicted increased rain, the State Emergency Service activated a carefully organised plan. Residents in the prone areas of the town were told to leave by authorities. Evacuation centres were set up at the Derwent Valley Sports and Recreation Centre and the New Norfolk Memorial Hall. Residents, many of who live and stay in the caravan park on the banks of the river, began to move their entire homes. To prevent drivers from pushing their cars through the water, the police were forced to close roads. So the water's receding now. It seems to have peaked sometime late last night when there was a full tide coming in the opposite direction. A fair bit of damage is done here. Hopefully this is the end of it though for now. New Norfolk's prone to flooding. This isn't the first flood the place has had. In fact, there was one that was even worse quite a few years ago. Historically, there have been deaths associated with the flooding of the River Derwent. The New Norfolk has flooded more than two dozen times since European settlement. Floods on the island were first recorded as widespread throughout Van Diemen's Land in September 1828, when most of the bridges in the Midlands were destroyed. 1960 probably saw the worst flooding, widespread and extreme throughout the state. The Macquarie Plains, New Norfolk area saw the greatest damage, with several people needing to be rescued from their rooftops. 12 houses were demolished by water, an estimated 650 citizens made homeless. As the high water mark recedes and the soil slowly begins to dry, the full extent of property damage will be realised. The Derwent is a normal river and it's normal for rivers to flood. It cannot be prevented, only mitigated.